is Jay. I am the founder of Lakotas, and I specialize in Spigot API and Java development. Today, I'll be walking you through how to create some simple events for your plugin. This is already assuming that you know how to create a new project and set it up, as you can see here on the screen. If you don't know how to do this, don't worry. There will be a new video soon on how to do that. Let's get into it. So, we're going to start with the basic player join event, as this is the one that people end up using quite a fair bit. To start, we need to create a class for the event. This isn't the only way to do it, it's just the way that I like doing it because it keeps everything nice and clean. To create a new class, you go to your tutorial file over on the side here, or whatever it is for you, might be something different depending on the name of your plugin. So right click on the file, hover over the new, and click on Java class. Now you need to enter the name. For me, depending on the event, for this exact event, I like doing join event just so that I know what this file is. It's for the join event. You'll see some code already in the class. You don't need to worry about it. It's just giving you the code that you need for it. After the class name, type in implements listener. You can see that this gets is red, uh, which means it's an error. Um, so go into it until you get this blue text bubble above it, hit alt enter, which will take you straight to the import, or sometimes you have to choose import from a list of things to do. And make sure that you choose listener from org.bucket.event. This allows this class to be used as an event listener. For every event that we do, we have to start with an event handler. This basically says the following function is an event, do so with the event that you are given from the function. So for the, the player join event, we do public void on player join, two regular brackets and then a curly bracket and hit enter in the middle of the curly brackets. So that's the function side of it, but it isn't actually passing an event to the event handler. To do that, we need to put the event that we want in. So you could do entity damage by entity event or uh, the one that we're going to be using is the player join event, uh, as I said earlier, and then event. So that's saying that the player join event is the event that we want, and event is the variable name for it. So let's add some code to change the boring old yellow join message that you get when you join the server. To do this, it's pretty simple. Just type in event, set join message, and then welcome to the server player. That's done. It, that's literally how easy it is to change the join message. There's no need for complicated code. It is literally one line of code to change the join message once everything's set up. Yeah, but that's pretty cool, right? But what if we want to address the player instead of using the, the word player? Like, we want to use their name. Well, one way we could do that is remove the word player and add a plus event .get player .get name, and that would put the player's name out. This isn't my favorite way of doing it, but it's a simple way of doing it. The way that I'm going to teach you allows for much more customability down the track. Basically, we want to create a string variable. So unlike JavaScript, where you would just type var, Java, you actually require to tell the type of string. So a string called message equals welcome to the server percentage player underscore now, this percentage underscore player name percentage is a custom placeholder that we will create in a second. And we want to replace this, this string part here with the player's actually name. So in Java, there is actually a function that allows you to replace a string with another string. And to do that, we need to get the message and then set it equal to message dot replace all. Then the string that we want to replace. So that's percentage player underscore name percentage, comma, and then the string you want to replace it with. So in this case, event to get player to get name and a semicolon at the end. That will replace the string player name percentage player name percentage with event dot get player dot get name, and it will set it back to the message string up here. So that's how you would replace it. This this way allows for a bit more customability down the tracks. So if you had colors in there, you could do message equals chat color dot 
translate alternate color codes and and then the message right and that would replace the colors that you would see in higher servers like hypixel like you have the the prefixes that's all done through chat colors um, but we're not going to do that right now because we're not at that stage and to make sure that you set the message to the if join message to the one that you've just set up just chuck msg inside the event dot set join message so if we were to test it on a local server we would hopefully see that the join message is what we set it to be let's test that out as you can see here the server that i'm running on my on my machine says that the plugin is enabled so there's no errors there so if we were to go and join the server now we would hopefully see that the message is what we set it to be but as you can see here it is not now this is actually because we didn't register the event and that basically means we didn't tell the server this event exists we just created the code for it now if you go back into your main class which is for me tutorial.java but it's whatever you guys set it to there and in your on enable if you get server dot get plugin manager dot register events now listener is equal to new join event comma this that is registering an event this now tells the server that this event exists and it checks this file and looks for the event as you can see the tutorial dash 1.0 snapshot is still in there i have changed the version it just doesn't show up as a different version because it's just the same file name and if i go to the console and type in reload you can see that it reloads the server and it says that it is now enabled and the reload is complete so if we were to now leave the server and join again we will see that the welcome message is actually set to the one that we set it to so welcome to the server and then the user's name hence it being my username i hope this tutorial helped you guys out stay tuned for the next tutorial that's coming out soon this is jay from coders signing out